Okay, so I have a uh, this Hobie Pro Angler 12. I have the uh, 180 dry, uh, Mirage Drive. I didn't get the uh, 360. I don't have that kind of money for that. But anyways, so what I did here is I did some modification and added <clears throat> a Minn Kota 30 pound thrust uh, trolling motor with the uh, PWM control here, as you can see here. I'll have all the uh, parts uh, in the description below if you guys are interested in doing this yourself. But anyways, <clears throat> as you can see, if I wanna go forward, just press this directional switch, forward, neutral, basically, and then reverse. And then this here, okay, so if I wanna go forward, is the control knob that kinda tells, and it shows the percentage power going into the motor it's forward so if I want to go super slow and if I want to go reverse okay, so if I want to deploy that <clears throat> you can see here I just made a temporary rope right now but if I want to deploy it I just push it down and it deploys so this has the kick up the feature so as far as the mount I just got a, I bought myself a eight by 24 uh, by one eighth um, metal sheet from uh, Home Depot. And then I used the original mount that came with the Minn Kota. I just chopped off this little portion. <clears throat> and then these brackets I found on Amazon. And you can actually, they're, they're used for uh, light mounts uh, on vehicles but I'll uh, add that description below it's pretty easy to make actually it took me a couple of hours uh, so I didn't have to drill any holes to the uh, Hobie all these screw holes right here already exist and then these mounts are it comes with the uh, these bolts I just had to uh, drill new holes to the actual frame or the actual uh, metal sheet and added a couple of bolts and nuts in there to secure it so uh, basically I drilled one two and three holes to this actual sheet and then for the actual mount I drilled one here and then one underneath you see right underneath so you can't really see underneath there There's a quick disconnect here that I used. Same for the actual batteries. I also attached a kill switch. So if I want to kill that, all I gotta do is pull on this lanyard and it kills the motor if you guys have any questions let me know as far as steering I'm uh, you just using the original steering handles for the actual Hobie